Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're talking about side panel mounted LCDs and why you need one. Mini LCD screens make amazing system panels. You can use them to watch your favorite videos. Manage your Discord or other gaming apps. All you need is the screen, a couple of cables, and it's really easy to do. For this particular mod, I chose a 5 inch LCD 800 by 400 resolution, and we're going to mount it right down here. For mounting the screen, I used these magnetic adhesive strips. Very cheap, I found them at a local craft store. They come pre perforated and cut so that you can tear them apart easily. They are cutable with a pair of scissors, and the adhesive strip on the back is already applied. Using the adhesive side of the magnet, stick them to the front side of your LCD screen. Make sure you cover the back of the monitor in something non-conductive. So worry about accidentally making contact and frying the board. Create a filler plate that's going to fill the hole beside the monitor. You also are going to need to put one magnet on this as well so that it will mount inside the case. The only other thing you're going to need is a micro USB to USB cable and an HDMI cable. Put four magnets on the inside of the case behind the power supply. Three of them will be holding your monitor in place and one will be holding the filler plate. Slide the filler plate in from the power supply end and connect it to the small magnet you mounted. Slide in the LCD screen all three magnets will connect and hold it firmly in place. Plug in your cables. Route them through this access hole in the top of your case above the power supply. Out the back of one of the empty expansion slots. Plug in your USB. Plug in your HDMI. And the hardware is complete. On to the software. Once you're in ADA64, go to File, Preferences. The sensor panel will be under Hardware Monitoring. Make sure the checkboxes beside the Show Sensor Panel prevent sensor panel from minimizing, Lock Panel Size, Enable Context Menu, and set your sensor panel size to match your monitor, in my case, 800 by 480. You should now have a blank sensor panel that you can drag over to your monitor to make sure it's the correct size. Right click on the blank sensor panel. From here you can choose what type of item you want to show on your LCD panel. Sensor item and simple sensor item are simple text with an output of what you want to show. Static label is simply just text. An image, just an image. Graph, such as a line graph or a gauge. We're going to start with a background image, so click Image, find the image you want to place, click OK, right click, move, and drag it to match the size of your LCD screen. I'm going to start out with a gauge, so I'm going to right click on my panel, New, under Item Type, click on Gauge. Select what you want to show. In my case, I want to show the CPU utilization. Select the white, black, or custom layout. Pick the size. Choose the font and size. The min-max value is the range. I'm going to leave mine to show percentage. When you have it laid out the way you want, just simply hit OK. Right click on the gauge and click move. Put it to roughly where you want it to be on your panel. Right click again. Sensor panel manager. This is where you're going to control a lot of things in your sensor manager. The arrows will move the item that you have highlighted left, right, up and down and the PX in the center shows how the distance that it will move. Once you have the item where you want it, highlight it in the sensor panel manager and click Duplicate. This creates an identical copy of it. 
highlight it, click modify, change the value to what you want your second gadget to be. In this case, I want it to show CPU temperature. Click OK. Now move the second gauge down to where you want to keep it. Now duplicate it again until you have all the items you want on your LCD panel. At any time, you could change the item type. If you guys enjoyed the mod, please consider subscribing. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.